So guys, in our last video, we looked at how to, you know, um, create a table <clears throat> using the tabulate, um, using the tabulate that, you know, the, the tabulate package or the tabulate library in Python. Um, I just want to demonstrate how we can create a table using uh, pandas, okay, data frame, using the pandas package or library in Python to do something that is similar to what we demonstrated in our last video using tabulates, okay? So to begin, let's, let's create, let's say we want to use the data. So I'll just, I'll just create a, a dictionary. So let's say the data is, the table we want would be, let's say age, or let's say, um, say first name okay i like using this so let's say first name okay and the first name when states was we want so let's say we have az let's say we have peter let's add a third one um let's say chloe now we'll come here with a comma Okay, now we can say um, set the last name. So last name is the next column that we want. Then we'll just put the values that we want. So let's say last name for the first for the first person, okay, index of zero. So we'll go, that's how we keep moving. Uh, well, it was not first. And then let's say Peter's last name would be, uh, say, John. Okay. And let's say Chloe's last name would be Frederick. Okay. Let's say Frederick. So if we want to print that, so the print. Okay, so before, let's move this down. You really forget, so we need to import, let's say import pandas, because we want to use pandas. And then from pandas, import data frame, okay, because we're going to use data frame. So let's run that. So print data frame, then the name of what you want to print. Okay, we'll put that in the data. And if we run that, um, okay, should have another one, two, so one, so yeah. So this is what the table actually looks like. Okay, it's not as fancy as the table that we used, that we generated when we used, uh, when we used, you know, um, tabulates because we were able to, we were able to modify the table by, in tabulate, we're able to do things like um, if you remember table format, table FMT equals, you know, these things like that. Well, if you run this here, it's going to give you an error because it's totally an unexpected keyword table format. So um, when you're using data frame, pandas data frame to create your table, it doesn't accept, you know, table formats. It doesn't accept you adding table formats to your, to your code or to the arguments okay so if you watch the other video you see how we did you know a similar thing with uh tabulate but we could actually just repeat that here and say and say import let's do start pip install tabulate okay so you need to install that first Oh, I just need to reconnect. Uh, I press stop there, no? Press start kernel, yeah. And then from tabulates, post tabulates, okay. And let's carry all of these. Let's just copy these and paste there. But then we'll just change this to print, tabulate, and then data. 
Okay, and if you look at that, so you can see how the how the table appears when we use Pandas data frame. You don't really have lines, you just have the first name, you have your last name. Okay, so when you look at this dictionary, this is called the sets, and this is called, or this is called the, this is called the key. So in your dictionary, this is the key. This is the key. So the key here are now the column names. The keys are the column names. Whereas the contents within the lists, okay, are the rows. When you look at when we when we use tabulate, if you look at that, you see that you can actually modify it. So you can come to you can put a comma there. You can say table formats. Um, so let's say table formats pretty. So if pretty will work. Pretty is not working. Let's use grid. Oh gosh, so it's table, sorry, table F from T. So grid. Let's try pretty again. See if pretty is going to run. Yeah. So you can see how pretty shows. So the table format's pretty. You can see how it looks. And if you remember, we said you can also try. Um, Fancy underscore grid as another format. Now this fancy underscore grid looks a bit fancy, isn't it? And you can always copy this table that you've created. So if you copy that, and let's put it here. Let's change this to a markdown and paste that in. You can see that I can actually come here and edit it within the markdown. Okay, so within the markdown, I can actually edit it. Okay. And within the markdown, I can actually delete this part of the table. So it's edit table. When you put this table you've created within a markdown, it becomes edit table within the markdown. Okay. So, so um you can you can then appreciate the similarity between using pandas data frame okay to create your table and when you use tabulate to do the same thing. Okay, when you use tabulate to do the same thing. So these are ways you can actually create your table. So in summary, we've used Pandas data frame. And then just to um or you know to do a recap of um to recapulate uh, what we did in the last video, recapitulate. So just done, you know, demonstrated how to use the tabulate. Uh, package or tabulate library, you know, in creating your table. And I've shown you how to use the fancy grid, and I showed you how it's, if you use uh, if you use pretty as your table format, and if you use grid, so you the different formats that you can actually use. And in the last video, I said if you want to add if you want to add the index to the side of this table, you can say. Um, So if we say show index equals, so we can do show index equals two. If you remember in the last video, I said you can also use always. Okay, so if you, so you can either put always in, in, quotation, in quotation marks, or you can just write show, show index equals two. It gives you the index, and index usually starts from zero. So the index of this is, uh, is actually zero. Okay, because in indexing, indexing in Python starts from zero. So the zero, index zero, index one, index two. Okay. So if you think this video is helpful or interesting, um, leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and share this video with others. Thank you very much.